Hey, it's um just Aaron here, um making um video for your iPod. If it um you know if the apps don't work, they just keep shutting down after a few seconds of loading. Uh, showed you a little video before that. Uh, I've already got my iPod in like that. You've already probably tried um I don't know probably unclicking syncing that. That's not the way to go. You're going to have to click restore. Goes all this. Hmm. Click restore. <laughs> You've probably already done this too, but you probably did something different. And you probably have to check over again. I'll show you what you've done wrong. Um, just says here you need to disconnect for the while. Uh, should come back on in a second though if it's already plugged in. Um, yeah, just wait for it to come back up. Um, okay, when you get to here, you're just going to want to make, um, click on this one that says, uh, restore new iPod, not, um, existing one, uh, mine says, um, Aaron, not, that I wouldn't click on that one, because that's, yeah, that's the one that, it will just go back to your normal settings, we're going to go new one, and this will, uh, hopefully fix your iPod, this is what it did to mine, and I figured this out, so, um, just click on this one, and, uh, should fix your apps. Should take a little while though. Alright, I'll just go into iTunes now and um, show you how and what you have to do to get your apps back. Alright, um. Let's see, let's go to Apple, uh, App Store. <coughs> uh, what's app I've got before? Um, Flight Control? Yeah, that's one I've got. Alright, click buy. Uh, should come up. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, you've already purchased this item to download uh, for free. Select OK, OK. Alright, once it's done, um, the app should just come, like, once you sync it, you go sync, you know, all that. Uh, once it's done syncing, app should be on there, and I'll show you what happens when you've done that.